Welcome back and moving on to our first segment for today, talking about many different developments that took place in Egypt during the past 10 years. In particular, we're going to focus about uh, or on Upper Egypt. Many developments took place and actually the whole map of Upper Egypt changed a lot. Well, over the phone, we have uh, Dr. Reem Bedeir, Professor of Economics at Cairo University. Hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning, uh, Doctor. So first yeah, of all, uh, I'd like to shed the light. How far do you see the map of Upper Egypt um, in general changed from the past? Yeah, at the beginning, uh, allow me to uh, congratulate the Egyptian people on the new year with my wishes for a year full of success, uh, prosperity and stability for all the Egyptian people and the Egyptian uh, uh, leadership. Uh, regarding your topic, uh, well, Egypt or Upper Egypt, uh, in fact, received the great attention from the first moment President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi took over the rule of the country. Uh, of course, we know after the revolution of uh, uh, June 13, um, uh, 30, as he visited Upper Egypt so far in 18 times uh, to many uh, various governments, uh, like, for example, including uh, Menia, Suhag, Asiyut, and uh, uh, Atuan, uh, and at uh, more specifically, he visited it three times so far. Um, in fact, the development of Upper Egypt uh, contributes uh, uh, to improve uh, uh, the standard of living of the Egyptian citizens and uh, promoting, of course, uh, economic and social development in the um, region. And the efforts of the Egyptian state were uh, represented in many aspects of life. Uh, like, for example, economics and agricultural development, route, bridge, housing, and development uh, uh, individual, uh, which at the end uh, reflected on the standard of living for all Egyptian uh, citizens, more specifically the people who are from our Egypt. Uh, as the state, we are able in short uh, time, uh, in fact, as we uh, witness, to implement a number of important projects which contribute uh, uh, to the development of the Abad Egypt in a significant way. Uh, more specifically, um, efforts to develop Abad Egypt were uh, represented in many directions, including economic development as a number of economic projects were implemented. Uh, uh, um, if you give me the opportunity to give you a, 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 a quick example, like for example, establishing a small and medium in, uh, industrial complex in the new acute city, and also establishing an uh, industrial zone in Haggadah, establishing a, a furniture city in a new Asyut, and establishing technology city in new Asyut, finally establishing a solar energy city in uh, Atua. When we talk about uh, developments uh, these days in particular, we can see that it is taking care of many different aspects. For example, we are not talking about the land or the area, but we are talking about the infrastructure and human capital. So if I'm talking about Upper Egypt and all developments that took place and taking into consideration uh, creating more job opportunities and taking good care of our youth over there and preparing them for better future. How do you see this? Of course. In fact, uh, from the starting point, or the starting point more specifically, was with the President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi when he signed uh, uh, the law number 157 of uh, 2018. Uh, when we recall it, this uh, law establishing the Abar Egypt Development Authority. With this authority, the Egyptian uh, state, after, of course, the Egyptian parliament approved it, Egyptian state could, uh, uh, has or did direct a lot of efforts uh, uh, and did a lot of efforts which have uh, contributed to achieving many uh, uh, projects in Upper Egypt. Um, and the most significant uh, notable of these uh, projects, uh, as you said, increasing the job opportunities in Upper Egypt. Um, um, I can give you a, a number to show how the difference or how the increase a significant increase in number of uh, uh, job opportunities as the number of workers in Upper Egypt increased from uh, 11.5 um, million workers in 2014 to 13 and a half million workers in uh, 2023. So we clearly see a significant increase in the job opportunities about uh, two and a half million 
in a very short uh, period, which reflects uh, uh, um, a good uh, insight and give us a good indication of the uh, increasing the job opportunities in uh, Upper Egypt, which lets the people from Upper Egypt to find a job, uh, a good job, and increase their living standards in Upper Egypt. No need to uh, immigrate to Cairo and the big cities. Plus, uh, improving uh, the standard of living, which was represented by an increase in the average monthly family increase in Upper Egypt. Uh, increasing the job opportunities in Upper Egypt, as I said, uh, with uh, two and a half million uh, job opportunities within this very short time period, uh, uh, results in increasing the uh, living, uh, standard of living of the Upper Egypt people. Uh, uh, the increase uh, uh, was uh, from 2000. Before this year in 2023, uh, in the increase in uh, reach up to 3,000 pounds for each single uh, individual citizen, which reflects uh, uh, the significant increase in the job opportunity, which reflected the uh, increase in the uh, uh, income for the individual uh, person or individual Egyptian citizen. Right, uh, just as you refer to education, and of course we know that we can never achieve such developments without providing a better education and vocational training as well. And uh, if we're talking about youth, also women have been taken into consideration during all the developments that took place in Upper Egypt, and this made a big difference, actually. Of course. Uh, uh, let me, there are a lot of, new, uh, a lot of the projects and uh, uh, Initiatives. And if we focus on one initiative uh, uh, like Haya Karima, Haya Karima initiative in Egyptian, uh, uh, is an Egyptian presidential initiative that aims to develop the Egyptian countryside and improve the standard of living of its residents, including the women, including the uh, education and the medical uh, uh, section. Uh, these initiatives target like uh, uh, 100, uh, uh, 1,522 uh, villages in uh, 46 governorates, including uh, uh, four, uh, 59 villages, villages in Upper Egypt. So uh, uh, we can see uh, uh, Upper Egypt uh, take the portion or uh, uh, take a lot of uh, 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 portion or percentage of, uh, 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 of Haya Karima initiative. Uh, Haya Karima initiative uh, uh, achieve a number of achievements uh, or projects in Upper Egypt uh, the most important, for example, improving the level of basic sectors through implementing uh, projects in the field of infrastructure, uh, uh, water station, roads, lighting, electricity, communication, as you said, also uh, for education and uh, women uh, empowerment and uh, uh, women uh, focus uh, learning, education, health. Uh, this concern or this comes in addition to improving the level of health and education services. Uh, as the initiative established and developed uh, a number of health units, medical centers, and the school, in addition to improving their facilities uh, uh, with focusing on the women and also uh, uh, increasing the number of educated uh, girls or young girls. Uh, this initiative, Haya Karima, was able to uh, enhance the economic development through establishment of many uh, economic development projects. Also, such as agriculture, craft, tourism, and manufacturing projects with increasing the percentage of women and girls uh, representative in these uh, uh, crafts or agriculture uh, uh, and also manufacturing projects. This came in addition to improving the standard of living of residents, Egyptian people, through a training and a qualification projects to increase the job opportunities which we talked about earlier. Well, just as you mentioned, Doctor, talking about many different initiatives tackling different aspects of life, including, of course, education, a better life for citizens, also a medical insurance, health, all these things. How far it is important when it comes to economy? How far can it boost economy? Of course, um, uh, during the past few years, Egypt uh, became one of the Arab countries that has uh, uh, a leading and a strong uh, uh, economy, uh, even in enhancing uh, uh, in the indicators and uh, uh, the minutes of uh, uh, financial and monetary uh, policies. Uh, economy, I believe, is the starting point for uh, any country to, 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 
to uh, increase and raise the uh, standard of living for its people. So I think with the new state for our uh, president, Abdel Fattah Sisi, he bought the economic agenda, uh, agenda and roadmap on his first uh, priorities. Uh, Egypt is a, a, a big country, has a lot of uh, resources, has a lot of challenges, has a lot of uh, uh, population and people. So I think we are, uh, um, like all of you say, slowly but um, uh, surely, so we are uh, on the roadmap to uh, uh, achieve the economic development and achieve uh, and raise also the uh, individual standard of living. Right. Uh, if we're talking about projects in general that took place over there, in addition, of course, of providing such a huge uh, units of housing. So uh, what are the most important projects that still uh, they need more to focus on? I believe, um, and maybe a lot of people, Egyptian people also agree with me, we observe it everywhere you go in Egypt. Uh, I think that uh, transportation network and also the infrastructure. Uh, Egypt uh, be, has become uh, one of the uh, leading countries in the region in implementing an, a strong network and, uh, of roads and the bridge. We all observe that every day we are, when, we, when we are moving between governments and also inside Cairo and also outside Cairo in Upper Egypt, even in Upper Egypt, we observe it, uh, uh, a huge and very... Uh, uh, Egypt, I think, becomes a role model of developing the infrastructure and uh, the roads. Uh, and the transportation uh, system. Uh, let me uh, uh, um, give or highlight the importance of this network. As many of uh, citizens maybe uh, um, say, we have to redirect our resources to uh, uh, different sections. But uh, I need to highlight the importance of the network of the infrastructure in uh, connecting the governorates and also facilitating the process of uh, transportation to and from uh, the different governorates and also connect the main cities like Cairo and uh, uh, Alexandria and also Hergada and Sharm Sheikh. Uh, in addition to uh, uh, facilitating the traffic uh, congestion and also accom uh, accommodating the largest amount of cars by widening all the roads uh, as well as shorten the time and effort and reduce the traffic uh, congestion, uh, I believe uh, all these can contribute in different aspects that you can reach your uh, uh, work that you can reach your home or you can reach your destination in a shorter time uh, in less effort and also which also save the fuel save the uh, time uh, in this context i have to highlight president abdel fattah uh, directed to uh, continue making the effort to develop and raise the efficiency of roads and the traffic corridors in various regions of the republic uh, which represents the life uh, 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 and development uh, uh, of Egyptian people. In addition to uh, achieving ease uh, of movement for the citizens and eliminate, uh, eliminating uh, the traffic uh, congestion and solving the problem of congestion, uh, which establish a new, uh, um, and, um, a new way uh, of modern uh, uh, national road network that country now enjoys and me, myself, and I believe all uh, Egyptian people are observing this uh, in the road and infrastructure. So uh, uh, our president, Abdel Fattah Sisi, with his new uh, uh, period, uh, I think in, and also he uh, uh, will continue of making efforts to develop and raise the efficiency of the infrastructure and road uh, corridors all over Egypt, not only on the big cities. Big cities. Well, usually when we talk about investments in general, we all know that any uh, investor before approaching any other, any project in any place, usually there is something like, um, for example, the SWOT analysis. He has to test and he has to learn more about the area, more about the atmosphere, the environment, and of course, taking this into consideration, the exit barriers as well, because this is considered the most important factors for him to move into a place to invest. So how far do you see this is applied in Upper Egypt? Uh, of course. I think uh, Upper Egypt is a really green uh, land and green opportunity for investors, uh, whether they are Egyptian or foreigner investors, to attract uh, GDP or to attract foreign direct investment. Uh, um, um, foreign direct investment, which includes the hard currency and foreign currencies for the 
uh, Egyptian uh, foreign currency process. So I, I, I believe with this evolution of the infrastructure, increasing the water station, increasing and uh, 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 increasing the efficiency of the roads, widening the roads, make the bridge, uh, uh, making health and education centers. So we are now talking about, about, about independent uh, upper Egypt. So the investor or the Egyptian people from upper Egypt, they don't need to uh, commute to Cairo or big cities to find facilities and find uh, 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 government, government uh, units to find um, facilities of education, of health, of uh, different uh, facilities of the government if I need to uh, uh, um, uh, issue some certificates. Also. So now the Egyptian uh, government uh, uh, enjoys a, a decentralization. Each government has uh, its government and it uh, has its uh, local unit. So no need to commute to the big cities. So I believe our Egypt also including in the, in the uh, uh, state uh, uh, map or agenda of developing uh, and make it uh, decentralized. So I, I feel that life in our Egypt now is a complete life. We don't need to go out of our Egypt to get some facilities whether they are from education, health, and uh, 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 also different uh, facilities of the government. Like, for example, we see uh, Magdi Yaqub Center for, uh, uh, for Heart. So it's in Aswan. It's really uh, Egypt, so really far from the Cairo or the capital. So we can find facilities from the health, education. And let me highlight, as I am from uh, uh, education system, uh, a lot of Egyptian uh, uh, universities uh, uh, had opened in Upper Egypt, so to increase the number of uh, uh, educated people, especially the women, as I uh, said earlier. So, as a, uh, a citizen, I can find all facilities. As an investor, I can find all facilities in Upper Egypt. No need to go out or no need to go uh, to the big cities to uh, uh, find my. Uh, uh, um, uh, facilities or to find my surface. Uh, so I believe uh, it's uh, like a complex or um, a completed life zone. We don't need to commute to big cities. Uh, so I believe it's with a, a, a new period of uh, President Abdel Fattah city of leadership, I think it will attract a lot of Egyptian investors as well as uh, foreign investors. Right, uh, Dr. Uh, Reem Bedir, a professor of economics, Cairo University, thank you very much for joining us. And right now, moving on to a quick break, then we'll be back.